So, hello. Hi. Uh, would you like to present uh, yourself from where you're coming from, your name? You don't need to say all your name. <laughs> okay. My name is Michaela, and I'm from Colorado in the USA. So, Michaela, uh, what is your motivation to be here in this garden? How come you're here? garden. I wanted to be somewhere where I was in nature and I wanted to come to Samothraki particularly because I'd heard a lot of good things about the island being in Thessaloniki. And I guess after living in Thessaloniki for a year I kind of wanted to get away from the city life and be more... I've been living in a city for five years and I wanted to get back to more what I grew up with and being with nature. So you grew up in nature? Mm -hmm. I grew up, we grew our own food a lot and made a lot of our own things, um, me and my dad. So it's kind of nice to get back to that, so I've missed it. Which, from from uh, which part of Colorado you're coming from? It, it's a really small town. It's called Erie. Um, <laughs> it, when I was growing up, it was very small. It had dirt roads still in the main town. Um, it's bigger now, but my parents moved there so that they could have a big yard. And mm. we could it's have, at the north? Yeah. Colorado? Yeah, further north, up north of Denver. So, uh, what, what are the main uh, tasks that you had while you were here in the garden? <laughs> Mostly a lot of watering. It was very hot. Not so dry, very humid, but very hot every day. And so watered everything every day. And then small other tasks that you gave me, like putting rocks around the trees, um, weeding out any kind of extra plants that we don't need around right now, um, stirring the compost, of course, every couple days, getting it wet, stirring it, and also keeping the goats out of the yard. Oh. <laughs> A big one. They're really trying to get in here. And what about the experience with the goats? <laughs> it's warfare. Um, they're very hungry and we have lots of tasty snacks. So, we have to reinforce the fences a lot. And how do you feel about this uh, situation with the, with the seeds of the goats? <laughs> I feel bad for the goats a little bit. It's not their fault that there's nothing for them to eat. Uh, how many times you 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 caught a goat inside the garden? Um, four times. Twice in, down there, and then twice up here in the chicken coop. And then apparently one time that I didn't catch that we found the destruction, or you did afterward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, today. <laughs> yeah. So they're sneaky. And most of the times you, you, you saw one specific goat. Yeah, it was the same one twice down and then once up here. So the same goat three times got in and then a new one yesterday. So I was like, okay, this is a problem area here. Mm -hmm. You fix it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like what? Grab the wire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I will ask you now to close your eyes. And uh, just get connected with, uh, with yourself and with your garden. Your garden is also your garden now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel connected. And just feel and when you really feel and you can just tell me uh, what what is the atmosphere? How do you feel when you are in this favorite place of yours in, in this garden in general? <laughs> <laughs> I'm falling. You fall down the hill. <laughs>
kind of I have the same feeling always. Um, it really made me something that I thought emerged a lot while I was here in this area was um, a lot of love and gratitude. Um, I, don't know how to, I don't know if I can even try to explain it. That's just what I felt. It was really like a lot of it was to open physically and also I wanted to open it more spiritually. So that's what I felt. Nice. Thank you, Michaela, for your contribution to this uh, garden and for your presence. I appreciate it so much. <laughs> uh, likewise. <laughs>